Hello and welcome to the Random Bros. In today's video, we will demonstrate some of our most used Fusion 360 tools. The first one will be the project, which is mainly used to project a sketch on a different plane so you have the exact copy of it without having to redesign the whole sketch on a different plane, which sometimes can be very time consuming and difficult. So, by pressing the letter P, you can either project the whole body or just click the lines you individually want. Now that you know what it does, let me demonstrate it better. The plane along path just creates a new plane on a given path. As you can see now, I can extrude the sketch, but the issue is that the new body has the exact dimensions as the V-slot, and if I had to print that part, it wouldn't fit, as 3D printers miss some millimeters most of the times. So that's where the offset functions come in. You basically make a new sketch where it offsets some millimeter to the existing one. The combine comes in when you want to combine two different bodies together. But you have to make sure that the two bodies that you're trying to merge are actually touching each other, because if you don't, no error message will notify you and then the frustration becomes real. As you can see, the bodies now become one. Let's say you want to split the same body again. You select the split body function and the plane which you want the part to be separated. As you can see, the two bodies aren't touching each other, the combine doesn't work, but now error appears. Last but not least comes the mirror and circular pattern. At first I quickly drew an abomination of a gear so I can demonstrate how the mirror and circular pattern works. And a quick tip, by pressing T you can trim the sketch to clean up some mess. All you have to do to mirror a sketch is select the lines you want to mirror and then choose where you want them to be projected.
the circular pattern works kind the same way. All you have to do is select the body which will be multiplied, the axis which it will be revolve around and the amount you want. Keep in mind if you put a huge number then an error message will appear. Thanks a lot for watching the Random Bros and maybe consider subscribing.